Hey everybody, I'm Hugh Brownstone for Three Blind Men and an Elephant, and today we're going to look at the Sockler Video 18 S2 Fluid Head mounted atop their Speedlock CF carbon fiber tripod. Let's get to it. I couldn't have appreciated the Sockler the way I now do if I hadn't first had extensive experience with another lovely fluid head tripod combination, the Cartoni Focus HD. Because as lovely and robust, in spite of beautiful Italian design, in every way that the Cartoni excels, the Sockler excels more. Not only is the Sockler designed to be repeatable with click indents and with numbers all over the head, the Sockler is designed with different levers for different purposes so that you have different degrees of purchase or grip. The Cartoni has lovely little levers, but they can be hard to unlock. No such problem with the Sockler. The Cartoni has a lovely quick release plate, but once you set that plate and then have to remove it, you're not going to be able to get it exactly where it was. Not so with the Sockler. Not only is the quick release plate separate from slide movement of the base in which it's set, but it is designed so that it cannot slide forward or backward. How many of us have lost a tripod screw? Well, with the Sockler, you've got a quarter inch, a three eighth inch, and a pin just sitting there waiting for you to lose one so that you can replace them right away. Where the Cartoni exudes a lovely European minimalism, the Sockler bristles with engineering. Even when the Cartoni has a lovely lit bubble level, the Sockler does it one better. A touch sensitive bubble. That thorough kind of engineering is in the tripod as well. Again, I really like the Cartoni tripod, but it starts just with the locking lever. Compare the locking lever on the Cartoni, which is fairly typical. You just screw it until the ball sits tightly, and then compare it to the speed lock system on the Sockler. You squeeze this together, you move the head, you let go, and it is locked in place. That's brilliant. The leg locks on the Cartoni, atypical. It took me a while to get used to them, and then I really liked them. They're really, really fast. But Sockler just goes a step further. Those levers may go horizontally instead of vertically, but they are bigger and they hold better. When you get to the spreader, the Cartoni is more than fine, but the Sockler just does it better. Up until the Sockler, I loved the Cartoni feet. The fact is, I still do. When you unscrew those nice, heavy rubber feet, you've got a spike that you can drive into the ground. Perfect, right? Except the Sockler goes further. It's got this really interesting rubber quick release. And when you take off the normal studio foot, you've got a double spike foot, which will give you even more purchase. All of this contributes to a level of peace of mind, which is critical when you're filming. The Sockler feels easy, no sweat. It's capable of carrying much more of a load than even this load, and that's what you want. Bottom line, it just works so well. So there you have it. The Video 18 S2 mounted atop the Speedlock CF carbon fiber tripod combo is the most thoroughly, thoughtfully, and robustly engineered support system I have ever used. And it's priced accordingly. And who's kidding who? I use a Sony A6300 as my daily shooter, and right now I'm using it to record this segment with an E50mm 1.8 Sony, and I love it. But your mileage may vary. You may be shooting with an FS5, an FS7, a Canon C100 Mark II, 300 Mark II, or any of the big black magic cameras. And if you are, this should be on your short list. For Three Blind Men and an Elephant, I'm Hugh Brownstone. See you next time. If you like what you've seen here, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, go over to the blog, take a look there, and uh, see you next time.